Hi, this is Sierra, and this is Reading Arsenal. This video is going to be sharing with you the three books I read in January 2017. I'm going to spend a bit of time letting you know what I accomplished for Diversifon 2.0. I basically only completed one book, and I didn't complete it in the span of a week, which is kind of embarrassing considering my large TBR, if you want to watch that, uh, link above my head. Without getting too apologetic, let's find out what books I read in January. The first book I read in 2017 was Dead to the World by Charlene Harris. This is the fourth book in the Suki Stackhouse novels. I gave this 3.5 stars. I reviewed this book on Goodreads, so if you would like to see that review or any other reviews uh, that I mentioned that I reviewed on Goodreads, you can find the link to my Goodreads page in the description box below. I enjoyed this book. It didn't wow me, so that's why I only gave it 3.5 stars. I didn't expect it to wow me, so... Um, but it was really fun to read something that wasn't as serious considering the seriousness of what's going on in the world currently. The next book I read was Paper Girls Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughan. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I gave this 3.75 stars. I also have a review for this on Goodreads. This graphic novel is about five young paper delivery girls. It is set in the 80s and it's packed full of 80s nostalgia. It is also sci-fi. There is a ton of nostalgia so that's why I docked the star rating down a little bit because I kind of felt that the story was a little bogged down by all of it and it was kind of repetitive. And what I mean about nostalgia is being like, like 80s events or 80s TV shows or like just... It was kind of overwhelming to see, like, yes, I know, this is set in the 80s, like, I get it. There is all these things happening, but I'm sure if I read it again, I won't get as annoyed by it, but it just annoyed me in my first read-through. And the last book I read in January was Boy Meets Boy by David Levithan. I read this for the Diversathon. Uh, it is Own Voices. I know I made this huge, ambitious TBR, and I know I, like, showed off all these books but during the span of the week of the diversathon I just didn't have the motivation to read and I was just not having not necessarily having uh, a rough time but I just lost my motivation to read so that is it for my January and diversathon wrap up I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share with me what you thought and also also let me know if you had ever had a TBR that you failed at. Did you do to overcome the sort of embarrassment or the sort of like let down kind of feeling? Because I'm sort of feeling that right now. But um, yeah, so Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.